fire doors must be checked regularly, as they are crucial in protecting escape routes and maintaining compartmentation. Fire doors are usually made from timber or steel. The level of protection that a fire door provides is generally measured as the time it takes before the door assembly allows the passage of hot gases and flames. Typically, they are rated as providing 30 or 60 minutes of protection. Timber fire-resisting doors normally require a gap of around 3 to 4 millimetres between the door leaf and the frame. To maintain fire resistance, the gap is normally protected by an intumescent seal installed in either the door or the frame. The intumescent seal expands to seal gaps in the early stages of a fire. If the door contains a glazed panel, it will also normally be fitted with an intumescent material. To restrict the spread of smoke at ambient temperatures, smoke seals may also be fitted. Occasionally, metal fire doors may be more appropriate than timber, for example where fire resistance of more than one hour is required. To identify a door and its rating, you should look for a label or plug from a third-party certification scheme, such as those displayed here. Labels or plugs from certified providers are a reliable indicator that a door meets the designated fire resistance. Labels usually indicate the period of time that a door will resist fire. Each label is generally numbered. This is useful in tracing the door manufacturer if a replacement is required or there are problems. Old doors are unlikely to have labels, but if they are of solid, heavy construction and similar to other fire doors in a building, they probably are fire doors. If there is any doubt, a professional opinion on a door's performance must be obtained or a proven replacement fitted. Gaps around doors should be limited to 3 to 4 millimetres. Gaps larger than this are unlikely to hold back fire and smoke. In older buildings, doors may not have intumescent strips, so only a nominal 20-minute fire resistance can be expected. Current recommendations are that a door with an intumescent strip affording a minimum of 30 minutes of fire resistance is fitted. Metal doors are not usually fitted with intumescent strips. Many fire doors are now fitted with smoke seals that prevent smoke spreading at normal temperatures. These seals are usually polymer blades or brushes. An assessor should check that smoke seals are present and in good condition. They should completely fill the gap between doors and frame. Fire door ironmongery is complex and the combinations of hinges, latches and push plates are almost infinite. Many are not compatible with each other or particular types of door leaf and frame. Most fire doors will be hung on three or more hinges. If the door has dropped due to failure of hinges or fixings, or if the door does not close properly, remedial work should be undertaken as soon as possible. Fire risk assessors should also check for the presence and the condition of intumescent seals. These should be fitted at the top and both side edges of the door. Intumescent protection for ironmongery should also be used to prevent early door failure. This is especially important for one-hour fire-resisting timber doors. It is very important that self-closing devices close fire doors completely. Rising butt hinges are acceptable for older properties, but are not recommended now. Failure to close correctly, or overcome the resistance of the latch, can usually be rectified by correct adjustment of the door closer, and or strike a plate. Many fire doors are held open by automatic door releases. When the fire alarm is activated, these devices must release the door and it should then fully shut. Correct operation should be checked and records kept. Doors used for means of escape, which may not be fire doors, for example final exit doors out of a building, must open easily. Only one hand movement, such as turning a lever or pressing a push pad or bar, 
should be needed to open an emergency escape door. All fire doors must be adequately signed. Extra security locks should not be fitted to fire exit doors. If additional security is required, there are a variety of CE marked electronic devices that unlock with the fire alarm. If a fire door protecting a means of escape is fitted with an air transfer grill, it needs to be a type that is linked to a suitable fire detection alarm system. The fire risk assessor should check that the operation of any air transfer grills has been regularly checked and recorded.